okay so welcome back so in our previous video we have generated the password reset token and today in this video i will basically send the recovery email to the user all right so for this i'm using the mail trap which is the best uh, platform to test our emails okay so let's me let me bring in the uh, mail trap first of all so um here it is so now this is the mail trap dashboard i have already logged in into my account you can simply register account and logged in and then you can create here a new inbox i have already created with the name shop it you can see that seven requests have been sent and these are sent when i was developing this project basically okay so you can simply create here add new inbox with the name of your project and you click on it you will get your uh, your inbox is empty and then this these are your information about the SMTP settings like you can select the platform from here so in our case it is node.js so node miller you can see that it is option is here so you have to this is our host this is your port username and the password okay so it, it, it has basically also given us the complete code for the node mailer okay we can simply copy it from here also but i'm going to go back to my vs code and just close it right now i go to my the auth controller and here i will simply type here forgot password and it will go to slash api slash v1 slash password slash for code and exports dot for code password that will equal to catch async errors and in first of all I have to check the email that user will provide so simply type here const user equals to await user dot find one and with the, we have to find user with the email that it will provide us so request.body.email we check that that if not user we will simply send here uh, let's copy it from here control c so that is for four user not found with this email okay and after that if it exists then you have to get the reset token so get reset token and I simply type here const reset token equals to user dot get reset password password token so now we have a token here so what you can do is you can simply save the user so simply await user dot save and also we pass here one thing here that is validate validate before save to to false right so after getting the token uh basically here from the uh there it is here we are simply saving the user and make sure that you pass here that well don't validate it so validate before save is false right so now we have saved token in the user and now we have to send the uh, email to the user all right so let's first of all create the reset password url so create reset password url so cons reset url equals to first of all we have to uh, check the protocol that it is http or https so simply type in here request dot protocol so it may be http or https then slash slash then you have to find the host 
so maybe localhost or your custom domain so that is in request dot get the host and then we have to go to the slash api slash v1 slash reset slash the token all right so token is going to be reset token all right so what is this that is const all right so whatever the protocol is then the host right then slash api slash slash password slash reset slash the token all right okay then we also have to prepare the message that we have to send so i simply type here cons message equals to your password reset token is as follow I put here slash n slash n then I have a simple display here the reset uh, reset uh, reset URL all right and then I go to the new line again so slash n slash n I will say that if you have not requested this email then ignore it all right so this is the url this is the message that we have sent to the user using in the email okay so now it's time to send the emails what i do is i simply define here a try catch so try try catch if there is some error then i simply have to set the user dot reset password reset password reset password token to undefined and also we have to set the user password um, expires expire okay so whenever error occurs we have to simply set both these to undefined because we have saved these already so if there's some error we cannot uh, put that data there we simply have to make them undefined and making them undefined we simply have to save the user again so await user.save after saving it i will simply return here the error so return return next with new error handler and i pass in here the error dot message and the status code of 500 it means that internal server error all right so this is for the cache block and the drive block i have to simply type here await send email and we are going to create this send email in a minute so in the send email you have to pass here first of all the email so that is user dot email the email of that user and then we have to also oops passing here the subject so if we type here the shop it password recovery whatever you want to uh, type in here and then the message okay and after doing it i will simply type here press dot status of 200 dot json success to true and then the message is uh, email sent to the user dot email All right so now um, we have okay 
Now he has specified all the things here. Now let's create here a new file, the utils called send email dot js. Okay, so let's import it first of all. So I type here l it is not working. You have to import it manually. So that is in send email all right so now we go to here's first of all let's import the node mailer equals to require node mailer and then we have to type here cons send email equals to the async options and then simply export it so module dot exports equal to the send email so basically these options that are we are passing uh, uh, here so these are the options right here okay so first of all if you go back to my chrome you can see that you can simply copy this from here the sample code put in here let's change it to const transporter okay, transporter is the node mailer dot create transport so the host port number user and password so I, I cannot put the data here I have to put in the config file so in config file I will simply have to first of all specify here smtp host that is this one and also you have to provide has mtp then the port that is uh, 2525 25. I have to pass here smtp uh, email so I simply copy it from here the user control C here and then SMTP password that is this one and also if you have to specify here SMTP from email that who has sent you the email in this case uh no reply at shop it shop it dot com so this is sending you the email which is no reply at shop it dot com and we also have to specify here smtp that is the from name so the name of the sender is going to be shop it all right you can simply go back here now I simply have to put in here the process.env dot uh, this SMTP host. Now if you have taken my previous course of Node.js bootcamp, in that uh, basically project I have used Gmail to send the emails. In this case I am using the uh, this mail trap but in my node.js course i have used the gmail to send the emails okay so this is totally optional whatever you want to do but this is just for testing the mail trap is just for testing and then the port number simply copy this from here oops First of all, the email and the password. Okay, so now we have successfully created the transporter, and here it is. Okay, and now I have to simply, first of all, create here the message. So, const message 
equal to first of all from who has sent you the email so I simply type here uh, process dot env dot smtp from name so this has sent you the email and then in the angular brackets I will show the email okay not here here so I simply use it here so process dot env dot smtp from email okay and after that we have to send here to I am sending to the options dot email that we have provided uh, in our auth controller and then subject is going to be the options dot subject Oops. and then the text so text is the options dot message and after that we have to simply send the email so simply type here await transporter dot send mail in the we have to pass here the message all right okay so let's save it and now let's test it out if i go to my postman let's close it don't save it i simply type here the um oops we have to set the route also if i go back to my vs code in the um user not in the user uh, in the auth Oh, throughout I will simply specify here router dot route to slash password slash forgot okay and then dot post the password which is forgot password simply save it and now if we go back to my postman to test it out so get uh, sorry post domain slash api slash v1 slash password slash forgot then in the body in the row we have to pass in here the email for example I type here email that is along one at gmail.com if I click on send from here you will see that user not found with this email so if, if I move this one from here click on send so it says that missing credentials so 91 Alright, so it says that credential missing. Oh, that is SMTP dot password. Press Control S, and now if I go back to my Postman and click on Send, so you can see that email sent to this. Okay, so if I go back to my dashboard. You can see that we get here show with password recovery if i open it so your password reset token is as follows so http local port 4000 api v1 password reset and the password reset token and then if you have an, uh, this line okay so we have successfully sent the email in our inbox if you go to your here go to users and you can see that here is the reset password token expiry time and this is the hashed token you can see that this token 
and this token is different because that is hash token okay so in the next video i will handle the uh, new password around okay so i will see in the next video